Hey there, in this section I'm going to show you how to use these Japanese candlestick patterns to make good trading decisions. Now before I get into this, I just want to let you know that candlestick patterns and everything you analyze may look perfect for a reversal, but it doesn't guarantee it's going to happen. Anything could happen in the market, that's just how Forex is, but the point is to identify these patterns because it increases the chances of a reversal, and if you can win more trades than you can lose, then that's how you're going to be profitable. So remember how we learned about support and resistance? Well, here you can see on this chart, we have a resistance zone up here. You can see price came multiple times and was rejected at this point. And here we are again at this point. So we're wondering, is it going to break through that resistance zone or is it going to get rejected by it? Well, guess what you can do? You can actually combine these candlestick patterns you just learned about with support and resistance. So right here we have an uptrend. And what you can do is look for a candlestick pattern that indicates a reversal right here at the resistance zone. And that can be a second confirmation that it is indeed being rejected by this zone and that it's going to reverse and start going down this way. Identifying candlestick patterns alone is just not enough to have a solid confirmation of market reversal. So combining it with the support and resistance zones is gonna be very, very powerful and help you win even more trades. The more confirmations you can get, the better. This is a simple way that you can get started in manual trading and develop a strategy that can increase the odds of you winning. So for example, if we go to the next part here, you can see a couple more candles formed and look at that. We have a three inside down pattern just like we learned about in the last section. We have an uptrend here. So we're at the top of the uptrend right where we have this resistance line. We have a bullish candle, which is the first thing like we learned about that we look for. The second candle that we look for is to close at at least the midpoint of the first one, which we have confirmation here. And then the third candle to close past this point of the first candle. And so we have that there. So we have confirmation of a three inside down pattern, as well as right after it bounced off of this resistance zone here. So those are two confirmations that we just got that this is indeed reversing and bouncing off of that resistance zone. So at this point, you would go short or you would sell. And guess what happened? Boom, the market continued down. And if you had gotten into that sell trade, you would have made a lot of profit right here. So that's it for this module about Japanese candlesticks. What you can do now is you could open a demo account, you can start drawing your support and resistance areas, your trend lines, and start to try to identify these candlestick patterns and reversals in the market. All I can say about this is practice, practice, practice. That's what's gonna help you the most with identifying and becoming familiar with these different patterns, with drawing trend lines, with finding support and resistance zones. Everything's gonna come through practice on a demo account. And like I said, it is totally worth it because you're going to develop such a valuable skill that can make you money in the Forex market whenever you want. So that's it for this module and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you join our free Discord channel to get access to all the cheat sheets and a bunch of other cool bonuses. The next video in the course is right here.